Hi everybody, Dean Herridge here at Petters Rally Central and of course it's round four of the Bosch Motorsport Australia Rally Championship and this was the middle of everywhere Gippsland Rally and a great chance to catch up with some of the winners from the Cups and joining me on the desk straight away, winner of Two Wheel Drive Classic, congratulations Ivan Thompson, what a weekend. Thanks Dean, that was, uh, that was a weekend that would uh to remember and also to forget, it was one of the hardest weekends we've had in motorsport to date. I've always wondered, I mean, classic cars, they're you know, probably difficult to run and competing by nature. How do you make it survive and on such difficult roads? Look, we've got a great service crew, outstanding service crew. Uh, it managed to keep these things running. As, as you've known, we've been doing it now for a little while. Um, and every year, look, these, these events seem to push us every single time. It's, it's, it's hard on the old cars, but... It's hard on the rest of the crew as well. That was today. Even yesterday, you had an issue where you're running on six cylinders. I think you were talking about winning certain categories and different cylinders and bits of pieces. So, did you have a clean run on any stage this weekend? Uh, short answer, no. We started today on eight cylinders <laughs> uh, until we got to the first stage and we dropped to seven. Dropped our clutch. Uh, by the time we got to the second stage, we were flat tyre, still no clutch still seven cylinders so it was it was a real prickly day but from that point of view what's it like now to be on the top step of the day as you know you beat some of your other competitors in these classic cars it must be a just deserve for just never giving up look today was was one of those days where i say we, we were going to give up at lunchtime i'm not going to lie it was it was a hard day um the stages this afternoon were very testing like it was it was even slipperier again this afternoon uh you'll see by obviously the dnfs which came through and some of the battle wounds that some of these cars are wearing yeah. It was just hard work out there this afternoon. So our competitors, uh, look, Peter Dimmick in the, in yeah. the 240Z, he's got a beautiful car. Oh, I can yeah. understand why he's going to be <laughs> a little bit more cautious than what we are in, yeah. uh, in that Capri. Mate, well, well done. We love the support, thanks to you and Trenches Sisters of Australia and your dad. We, we love the fact it's a great uh, part of our championship and congratulations for this weekend. Thanks very much. Good on you. There's a winner there. We're going to move to another winner that we've caught up at the end of this event. And, of course, that's our WRX Challenge winner, Tim Clark. Yeah, it's uh, been a brilliant, fun time and um, yeah, the car's been, you know, uh, unflappable and we've hit some hard, rocky stuff, horrible stuff today that, you know, made me cringe but the car just put up with it and uh, yeah, it's been a comf comfy ride too with aircon going and uh, tunes happening uh, in between stages and things so uh, it's been a great way to start ARC, yeah. And that's the thing, you know, you've won the state championship, you've won STIs and stuff, so for you to do an ARC in a one-make car, is that sort of part of the appeal for being to have a, a crack at an event like this in a category, you know, one-make series? Yeah, it just sort of evens the playing field and um, it's a shame Gary couldn't be here and, um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I suppose it's rallying and, um, yeah, it's just just a good even way to, to sort out, you know, who's who and, yeah, it's just been a fun day. The result's good, the car's good, you guys are good. Congratulations on a great weekend. Thanks a lot, Dean. Nick Seamwell, congratulations, got it all together. Two wheel drive cup winners, congrats. Thanks, Dino. Yeah, we had a good day, same as yesterday. Good clean run, no real issues, so, yeah. What's the secret? There's so many dramas up and down the field and you seem to have nearly one of the few trouble free runs by the sounds of it. Oh, there was a fair bit of driving around rocks and things like that. We didn't hit anything, which I think that was a good sign. Steer clear of fence posts, I think that was also a uh, bit of a key secret, but yeah. Congrats. I mean, the thing is, it's a front-wheel drive car. Uh, beauty of it, you were battling out at one point, you know, rear-wheel drive BRZ, the, the team from WA, and it's good camaraderie in this little category, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think all the two-wheel drive cars were struggling a little bit today in the tight, twisty stuff. It would have been nice in a four-wheel drive, but, yeah, good fight with the rear-wheel drive guys. Those guys had a good weekend too, I think. So, yeah, good fun. That's it, mate. Good job. Champagne sprays happened. Uh, enjoy the celebrations, and we hope to see you at an ARC soon. Thanks, mate. Beautiful. Thanks, Dino. So well done to Nick and Matthew for the two-wheel drive winners. Some more cup winners on the desk with me here. Molly Taylor, Main Fix Production and Mixed Garrett. Well done for juniors. I keep saying it, it's been a massive weekend. This sport never surprises me, or it shouldn't surprise me anymore. Molly, your last round with us as well, of course, as well. Yeah, motorsport, the gift that keeps giving, right? Um, but yeah, our last round, so it's been a bit of a bit of sweet weekend, to be honest, because um, we've had an amazing weekend. Everything's run really well, but also, you know, knowing that it's your final one for the year, we, we don't we don't want to stop just yet. <laughs> um, but no, it's been a great weekend, so very happy to have a, a clean weekend, a clean, fast weekend. They're the ones you want. And Main Fix Productions built, like the, the competition is red hot. And now that you don't get a chance to add to your points tally, you're locked away. I sort of like it in a way because 
Bodie Reading, Clayton Hoy, the, you know, Peterson, all those guys coming up, now have your points to chase. So you'll be sitting back waiting to see what happens. Yeah, I think I said it to you earlier. I'm just going to get some popcorn and sit back and watch, uh, oh. watch the show happen. And um, I think, you know, we've been able to score maximum points on every well, heat that we've we've had, that apart from the drive shaft issue in, in Queensland and then one heat getting cancelled in Canberra. So hasn't been the ideal point scoring opportunities from that point of view. But um, on the, the rounds that we finished, we've been able to score maximum. And so I feel like we've left it all out there. Yeah. We've done the best we can. Um, yeah, and now we'll just sit back and, and see what happens. But as you say, it's been it's been great to be in such a competitive field because, um, yeah, you're always outright. You always try and get as close as you can, but it really depends on yeah. the stage. It changes quite a lot. So to be able to you know go on the start line and know it, you have to be on it. Otherwise, yeah. you'll um, you know get shown up. Then that's been. You know, that's what we, we love yeah. about the sport. So it's been great to be able to do that. And well done, because production are shooting, you know, in outright terms really, really well. I'm looking forward to seeing who makes the popcorn, by the way, on that for the last <laughs> round. Uh, Mitch, to you, um, another successful event, ARC, you know, juniors. It's competitive, but I think you had the right mindset from the word go, which was just judge what the competitors did and judge your pace, and it came out trumps. Yeah, that's exactly it. We, uh, we were in the mindset of just finishing. Um, see what happens with Jaden and Molly. Uh, unfortunately for both of them, they sort of had issues both on Saturday, so we uh, we sort of had to change the mindset on how we attacked the day. Um, we still had a bit of a crack, we didn't go 10 tenths, but we still had fun, we still pushed pretty hard and got a good result at the end. The thing I like about it, unlike Molly, has got heaps of experience, you, you're you building and going round by round. We've started chatting these conversations uh, last year to add another string to your bow, do another round here. And it's moving forward to try and maybe go production or go to more outright terms as the sponsorship comes together, small team, etc. And it's, I think that build it's building your experience as well. Yeah, 100%. Funny enough, this is actually the first time I've driven this event. I've done this <laughs> event three times and yeah, yeah, this is the first time driving. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, it's just learning the different yeah. areas. Like everything's so different. Queensland to South Australia to here, everything's so different. Yeah. So it's good to sort of get that under the belt and then see what happens for next year. We don't know yet. We don't know what is just around the corner. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It'll just make sure you're part of the series. Molly knows all about that. Uh, congratulations to Molly and Mitch on a fantastic event. It has been an amazing round four of the championship. The next one's the Adelaide Hills Rally. We'll see you there in September.